This is a little demonstration of an effect I've noticed. So you have this axle on the bottom. And I'm going to give the motor a spin with my finger. So it's going pretty good. And you can see it's spinning around. And the axle is pretty much staying in the same space. There's a little unbalance going on with the distribution of the weight and the gyroscope effect. But watch what happens when it slows down. Look at how it swings around in a big circle. And it seems to do that every time. And I think that's because the north end of the magnets is having more of, a, of an effect on, on the twisting of the magnets than the south end of the magnets are because I'm in New York State. So let me show you this again. I'm going to spin it around and try and get it nice and straight. And watch that bottom axle. Watch that bottom axle. It's going to wait a while. It's going to, it wobbles a little, but watch when it slows down. Keep your eye on it. It's starting to do it a little, but all of a sudden it's going to spin around. There it goes. It's going to spin around in a big circle. And I suspect that's because the magnet this powerful magnet up here is not uh, cooperating with Earth's magnetic field. And that is what's causing that wobble. So that, in effect, could be a way to make an axle version of magnetic propulsion, as you might have seen with some of my videos with the boats. Now, I've been burned a lot of times before with using an axle, trying to set up a motor and make a boat go because it just didn't pan out. So I wouldn't try this. I wouldn't try to make this into a boat uh, uh, per se, but the magnet has to be coasting. It has to be spinning and coasting. In other words, if the motor is turning the magnet, it won't work. But if the magnet is coasting, when it comes to a certain slow speed, it will greatly make that big circle. So that's an indication that the magnet is being pushed in one direction more than the other direction. So watch it as it slows down. See that big circle? Look at that big circle. It's about an inch in diameter. So that's what I want to show. So uh, thanks for watching.